this is Colin Kelly from Clear Center. I'm here today with David Loper, and we're going to talk about creating a Clear Center portal account. Let's talk about first how do you create a portal account, whether you should create that account before or after you run the ClearOS install wizard, and what happens if you forget your password. Take it away, David. All right, thanks, Colin. So the Clear Center uh, portal account is different than the ClearOS community account. The Clear Center Portal account is uh, your relationship with uh, ClearOS, and that's um, basically what you'll use to register your boxes. Even if you're using ClearOS for free, uh, you'll need to create a Clear Center uh, Portal account. Um, sometimes this is also called an SDN account or Service Delivery Network uh, uh, account. But what happens here is this allows for certain systems to interact at certain specific levels as defined uh, by you with your ClearOS installation. So for an example, um, your ClearOS installation may need to tie into Dynamic DNS. Now Dynamic DNS is a free service from ClearCenter, but I can go into my ClearOS community box and for free I can set it up so that I, my DNS, I've got DNS access to my ClearCenter, uh, ClearOS installation. And in order for that to happen, uh, your box needs to communicate securely with our backend service delivery network. And to do so, it uses your account to be able to uh, assign your box to your specific settings and to your specific control. So this is done in a kind of a SaaS model where the, there's a portal that allows you to log in. So to get started, there's a couple of ways that you'll end up getting started with your ClearCenter account. One is during your installation process, you'll be required to put in a, a username and password in order to register your system. If you don't have that service delivery network account yet, then you need to go and create one. And during the wizard, you can do that. It will, it will let you create it during the wizard. But another way to create it, even if you've not installed ClearOS at all, is to, ahead of time, you can create uh, an account by clicking on Logins, and you can uh, go ahead and uh, log in as that user. Now, I'm already logged in here, so I'm going to hit Log Out. And I'm going to create a new account here on the ClearOS portal. So here, you're going to hit uh, Create Account because I don't have one yet. And this is where I'm going to put in my uh, username that I want it to be and a password. And you should use a secure password. Let's see. And your email address that you want to associate with your account and your time zone that you're in. Um, I'm in uh, Denver area. And whether you want to join uh, the, the mailing list. You check the I'm not a robot and it will want you to identify everything that looks like a storefront or something else. It'll have you do some other task. So um, you go ahead and pick everything that matches here. Um, and that looks like it. If you get it right, then you're not a robot. And I hit uh, create new account. Now if the username is already taken or the password doesn't match, you're going to get stopped and asked to fix it, which I did, what did here. Let's see, let's do that again. Jet skis. All right. Perfect. Now I've got an account. So at this point, we're done. We've created an account. You can uh, log out here and you can log in either, again, from the ClearOS um, site or there are certain activities, like if you're purchasing apps or doing certain types of things that interact with the service delivery network, that you will be pr uh, prompted for these credentials 
during uh, your experience within Clear OS. When it's asking for that, that's what it's asking for. It's asking for this uh, portal account. Um, we'll cover later on how to create use some of these aspects of this portal and um, doing some uh, really neat things that you can do with this ClearOS aspect. So more than just your box, your ClearOS system is also this uh, platform that's in the in the cloud that helps you to deliver software services and uh, features to your ClearOS system. Thanks, David. That was great. So we covered today creating a ClearCenter portal account. We talked about how do you create the actual account and then whether you should or should not create that account before you run the install wizard. And finally, how to recover your password if you forget it. Thanks, David.